Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you five ways on how to check your hard drive's health. Using these five ways, you can see if your hard drives are healthy or failing, get certain hard drive problems automatically fixed, see if your hard drives are overheating, and you can even see how much your hard drives have been used in their lifetime, and an estimate of how many days it will be before they fail. So let's get started. Number one. The first way to check your hard drive's health is to use the command prompt. This test only takes a few seconds. So click in the search box and type CMD, then click on the command prompt app. Next type WMIC disk drive get status comma model. Remember to include a space in these places, then press enter. Within a few seconds you will see all of your hard drives listed. If this test finds that your drive or drives are healthy, you will see OK in the status column next to each one. But if one of your hard drives has PRED FAIL next to it in the status column, back up that drive's data as soon as you can, because this message strongly indicates that your drive will fail in the near future. This is quite a basic test but it's good to run as it only takes a few seconds to do. Number two is Windows Check Disk. This test generally takes about five minutes or less if no problems are found. Check Disk can check the health of your hard drives, flash drives and memory cards and it can automatically fix certain problems as well. To run Check Disk, click on the File Explorer icon, then select This PC in the Devices and Drives section, you will see all of your hard drives and optical drives. Right click on the drive you want to test and select Properties. Click on the Tools tab, then under Error Checking, click on Check, then Scan Drive. By the way, this test may ask you to restart your computer. This test will now check for file system errors corrupted files, bad sectors and lost clusters. Once the test is finished, if your drive is OK, you'll see the message no errors were found. But if errors were found and fixed by this test, it could be that you have no more problems with your hard drive. But if errors were found that this test could not fix, or if this test completely freezes on you, then back up your hard drive straight away because this is a strong sign of a bad drive. Number three, for this we're going to use a program called Crystal Disk Info. This program will continuously keep an eye on your hard drive's health. It will give you quite a lot of information about your drives, but is laid out in a simple format. To get this software, go to crystalmark.info, then download the Crystal Disk Info Standard Edition. Once downloaded, click on the downloaded file and follow the simple on-screen instructions to install it. Once installed, when you start the program, you will see the hard drive's health status just here, its temperature just here. Over here shows you the total number of hours the drive has been powered on in its lifetime, the number of times it has started up, and there's various other information about the drive shown in this window. All of your hard drives are shown on this row here. Simply click on another drive to see its details. If there's a problem with one of your drives, it will tell you here and here. And it will tell you what's wrong with your drive down here. All blue dots in this section indicate that the hard drive is good, a yellow dot is a caution, and a red dot means the drive is bad. So if you see a yellow dot anywhere in this section, you will most likely have a bit of time before the hard drive fails completely, though I would recommend backing it up straight away just to be on the safe side. And if you see a red dot in this section, back up your drive immediately, because the red dot indicates that the drive will fail very soon. But hopefully you will see all blue dots, which tells you that your drive is completely healthy. This program runs in the background but uses very little system resources, so you shouldn't notice any difference in your computer's performance. Number four, 
Using your hard drive manufacturer software for testing the health of your hard drive can sometimes be beneficial. For example, if you have a Western Digital hard drive, you can download their software called Data Lifeguard Diagnostic, which can test the health of any Western Digital hard drive. The reason why it's a good idea to use this is that Western Digital's own software can test technologies that are specific to their own particular hard drives. If you have a Seagate or Maxta hard drive, it's worth checking out their software called Ctools to check the health of those hard drives. And for Samsung solid state drives, their own software called Samsung Magician is very good for testing the health of those drives. If you're not sure which hard drives you have, click in the search box and type system information, then click on system information, click on the plus sign next to components, then the plus sign next to storage, and click on disks. You can then see your hard drive manufacturer next to where it shows the model as shown here. If you have more than one hard drive, scroll down to see your other hard drive model names. You can Google these model names if you're still not sure who makes your hard drives. And finally, the fifth way to check your hard drive's health is to use Hard Disk Sentinel. This program can check the health of your hard drives, flash drives, memory cards and network attached storage devices. There are a few different versions of this program as you can see here. You do have to pay a little for this software, but it is more advanced. For home computer users, I would recommend the Pro version, as this version can repair hard drive problems as well as being able to check your hard drive's health. At the time of this recording, the Pro version costs about 30 US dollars, which is a one-off payment. By the way, I'm not sponsored by this company. If you'd like to try out this software for free, go to hdsentinel.com, then once on this website, choose Products, and click on Hard Disk Sentinel Professional. Next, click on Download, once it's downloaded, install it onto your computer by right clicking on the downloaded file and selecting Extract All, Extract, then clicking on the HD Sentinel setup file and follow the simple on screen instructions. So, what do you get for your money? Well, this program will give you lots of information about your hard drives, such as their health status temperature, number of days they have been powered on in their lifetime, and an estimate of how much longer the hard drives will last before they fail. As well as this program monitoring your drives in the background, you can run any one of its tests at any time. There's an overview of your drives, temperature readings, smart information, hard drive information, logs, current disk performance, and alerts. You can set up an alert so that if you're away from your computer, you will be notified by email if there's a problem with one of your hard drives. You can even set up this program so that it automatically backs up your drive as soon as it detects a problem. There's also a very good help menu that explains everything in this program very clearly. So those are five ways on how to check your hard drive's health, but I would like to mention something before ending this video. Any hard drive can stop working at any time without any warning at all. So it's always a good idea to back up any data that you care about just in case. Having said that, the programs I've mentioned in this video will detect a failing hard drive before it's too late most of the time. And as you've seen in this video, some of them can repair many problems that any hard drive might have. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.